when we talk about baby step two, this is going to grind your gears. We say to pause all investing, including your employer match, when you're getting out of debt. I did uh, not know it was including employer match. Everything. Down to zero. We got to think most likely that employer match is not going to be that big in the big picture compared to paying off debt right now. I mean, yeah, we're, yes, we're it's, it's going to be better. You're pausing but, your 3% yeah. match for two years. But when you come back, here's the thing. I found most people are only investing up to the match because it's all they can afford. Yeah. They're broke. And so we go, hey, what if two and a half years from now, instead of investing 3%, you can invest 15%. So we 5 x our investment contributions at that point. Yeah. You're going to make up for lost time. The problem is most people stay doing 17 things at once, and 20 years later, they're still doing 17 th things at once and haven't made the progress they wanted. Yeah, It's probably better to focus on fewer things. Get really good at, like, just i got to do these three things, and that's it. That's the I plan. That. So baby steps one through three, focus intensity one at a time. Baby steps four, five, and six, you actually do at the same time, but they're still in that order. So there's still priority. Four comes before five. But it's a plate that you get spinning, and then you move on to the next one. So baby okay. step four is 15% of your household income into retirement accounts. Have you found that 15 is like the magic number? Why not 20? Because I feel like 15, I think if you say 15% of your income, I think the average retirement is like 45 years, is, is how much it takes you to be able to replace your income. Yeah, we found, you know, there's been different numbers. People, Some people say, like, hey, you, if you're not doing 20% at least right. with inflation and everything going on, like, you're not going to be able to retire. But what we found is the reason 15% is a sweet spot is because it allows you to have some margin to do baby steps five and six, which is college and early mortgage payoff. Mm -hmm. Because if you do 20%, there's not a lot of room left to help your kid go to college debt-free if they choose to do so. Not sure. a lot of room left to pay off the mortgage early, which then frees you up later in life. Sure. Okay. So that's where we go. Hey, 15% into, we say match beats Roth beats traditional. So that's the investing strategy in a nutshell. Uh, no secrets here. You want to get that match first because that's 100% return right. on your investment. Then move on to Roth because we love the tax-free growth for most people. Uh, you know, if you're younger, Roth is going to be a better option for the long term. And then you can move on to traditional. 